Is there any sort of exclusive game footage? Is there any news? 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 I don't want to be very biased around one thing, but I tried all of the classes and I personally, my favorite is Sorcerer, the bald-headed one, the one that burned my hair. That, that's the name. Fire burned my hair. Um, I tried playing Assassin, I tried playing Barbarian. Uh, Barbarian looked a little bit interesting with uh, the fact that it can has ha can have a bleed focused uh, build around it and four weapons which is super cool and looks absolutely outstandingly good from the character creation where you can see the guy that is super buff and casting animations and everything it looks like you are you are absolute barbarian bulldozer just stumbling across anyone that goes along your way you're just gonna kill it bash it smash it destroy it Rawr! right barbarian so i tried barb i think i leveled it to like level six or something maybe a little bit more it was not the, the experience that i would be expecting for me um i leveled up sorcerer at first so i felt kind of i, I was automatically comparing the characters um, I didn't really connect with character that much. I I had leveled uh, Diablo 3 Barbarian myself before, so I kind of know uh, what kind of skills and abilities there are. So it was not too crazy unique for me. So it didn't really uh, I didn't really fell for Barb. Uh, but I did try Assassin and Assassin Rogue. And I saw a couple of abilities that are absolutely broken, a couple of abilities that can make you go wild, extremely fast, super like turbo mode, you on drugs. If you have fast PC or you you set your skills accordingly so that you could um, do damage based on your ability to click skills and target enemies. So Rogue really looked like the character that could uh, benefit for you, from you being uh, able to build a muscle memory based on skills. Rogue really looked like that character. But I didn't really felt that with the Barbarian. And I didn't really felt that with Sorcerer. However, one of the three classes that I played, uh, Sorcerer, I really liked Sorcerer the most. I tried three different builds. Or I think uh, three different elements, Fire, lightning and ice i tried being one individual uh, element sorcerer later on i tried i became a multiple element uh, sorcerer and i saw that such a uh, mix of elements are most beneficial for me through game progression and survivability and availability throughout all of the content and animation wide and wise and um, i built it to be so agile and so quick as a sorcerer, uh, really I like that. I liked even more, it's crazy, than, than the assassin. Assassin is super quick, super dodgy and flashy and, and cool and stuff and new, right? But somehow having like flame shield that can have your movement speed increased, having a double dash that's default and having teleport ability, this kind of wins me. It, it automatically won me and I was uh, super convinced uh, playing the game and having it um, reveal, revealed to me that I could just simply cast he Hydras, use Lightning, Flame Shield when I'm in trouble, and um, all sorts of various stuff. Uh, on the screen I think you can see me casting at things and, and doing magical stuff, I'm super proud of it. Uh, again, I haven't looked into any of the guides, I understood how to play the character, I fully understand that anyone can can do the very same thing and it's you're not being forced to anything and the game is just uh, giving you different variations of the classes and the fact that you can respect at any given time that you feel like it it just blows my mind it's it's absolutely amazing it's not as um, forgiving I'd say as Diablo 3 where you are forced into playing certain meta but in Diablo 4 you are forced into playing your items 
<laughs> or later on I believe it is gonna be some sort of uh, legendaries or builds but not that much and Sorcerer uh, so far was my favorite that's the reason why I played it through played it to the max level up until the beta closed um, yeah next weekend I'm looking forward to, to playing three more of the mage classes which is necromancer and druid but so far yeah sorcerer was my favorite among those three uh, if you're gonna be if you may be asking will i be maining a sorcerer after the launch i'm not sure um again we were only been able to level to level 25 so that was automatically a limitation and the more more of the things you encounter and more of the maps and zones and skills you learn more of the builds you can try out and understand how things going to play out but now it was extremely limited experience i believe like on level 20 or 19 i started seeing limits and end of the story where zone was locked so i had to just simply grind to grind five or six levels to hit max I remember like playing all of the other MMOs and being in the world events and such and thinking like okay Diablo 4 gonna have world bosses but it's gonna be easy peasy so I'm playing sorcerer I'm gonna just cast the Hydra and gonna shoot the boss from the distance it's gonna be perfectly fine don't worry about it I died nine times on the last time that I would lose 100% of my item durability I managed to understand the mechanics of the boss and this is coming from the guy who has avoided Souls-like games as much as possible as I couldn't even beat the tutorial. And in MMOs, I kill world bosses, I don't give a damn about uh, any of the mechanics, World of Warcraft, uh, Final Fantasy, raid bosses and skills. And it's, for me, it was easy. But seeing world bosses in Diablo 4, and like, I died, I remember, I died like six times in a row, and I still can't understand how the hell i'm dying and why i am dying later on i discovered that there's certain bleed mechanic that i i need to visually track there is not going to be like a debuff window that's going to be suck my life that's going to suck my life out of me no you need to look into what's happening on the screen and react accordingly either i need to cast a skill either i need to drink a couple of potions or need to run away or move forward towards the boss and world boss for me experience was uh skill level wise was amazing i loved it i loved it i loved it so much i wanted to repeat it and go again but i didn't see the notification icon on top so i presume that it was not uh, sp spawning or it was just one time kill per per account or per per character whatever but uh it was good it was very interesting the loop where you go in you die and you go in again uh it's it's extremely and uh, extremely cool i also looked up a little bit on the reddit and i saw that uh, the very same experiences i are from other type of players uh, especially from the players who are playing hardcore <laughs> and just uh yeah if you're gonna be killed by a world boss once Doo -doo -doo. you're gonna be down you're gonna be dead uh, whatever yeah all of the people out there who are playing hardcore man you're you're the beasts out there time to subscribe